hey guys welcome back to the channel uh guys today i wanted to actually uh do a review of this uh mainstays memory foam uh, couch um and i wanted to kind of tell you guys what it's been like after using this couch for i want to say a little bit over a year and a half or so um so essentially what happens is this thing uh loses its uh, sturdiness i want to say within maybe i don't know maybe four months five months six months you know something like that um it's a uh, absolutely horrible um quality you know material that it's made of in terms of the foam um the fox leather that they're using um it's fine you know there's been no tears nothing like that so the fox leather in of itself is fine you know it's uh it's actually easy to clean and then uh, we have this feature right over here that thing pops out it's able to hold you know regular size cups you know pops back in i've used it a bunch of times and um <clears throat> the couch also i'm sure you guys know you know turns into turns into you know like a little bed which is fine i've slept on it before i've had a. Uh, uh, I've had guests who've slept on this before. Um, this is the last thing you want to sleep on. And e even the middle part over here, if you actually look, you'll see uh, this is the middle portion of the couch where, you know, obviously a person in the middle sits. And as you can see, it's already, you know, sinking in, you know. And when you sit on it, you can really feel the the unevenness of the of the area. So it loses its uh continuity is firmness whatever you want to call it really really fast um uh, um let me show you some other stuff let me fold this back so it's pretty easy to to you know like fold that thing uh back and forth um nothing complicated let me show you guys the back okay so this is what the back looks like And then um, there's like a little hidden compartment. Let me show you, hold on. There's like a little hidden compartment right over here where you can like unzip this right over there. And then um, let me show you guys. No, that's not the money. Um, so you can store, you know, some stuff in there. I have like the manual and uh, some parts. Uh, the other thing I wanted to uh, talk to you guys about was the legs of the couch. Now, if you're wondering, you know, um, are the legs sturdy or, you know, are they loose? For the most part, you know, the legs are fine. I've, I haven't had a problem with the legs. Um, even the center leg, and doesn't seem to be loose or anything. You know, it's fine. Um, so the legs are made of, you know, like decent quality material and, you know, the way you screw it in, it's nice and snug. So I don't have a problem with that. The only issue you might come across with the legs is uh, you might have to uh, pad it because uh, the pad that comes under the legs, uh, it kind of gets worn out, it gets ripped off and stuff like that. So you might have to, uh, you know, uh, insert your own pads at the bottom of the legs. That's about it. Um, so, yeah, uh, that's it. This is... This is a spot that I would sit most of the time. So this area has the most wear and tear. And clearly um, there's a difference between that side and this side. You know, this part is more, um, you know, pushed down, I guess. And uh, to, be all, to be, you know, completely fair, um, you know, I'm not, I'm, not a, I'm not a skinny person. So I'm about 220 pounds. Um, so I'm definitely not skinny. Overall, I would absolutely never recommend this couch to any um, living soul on this planet. Um, it is not a good couch, primarily because again, it's not able to keep its um, keep its integrity. Uh, I, I think primarily probably because of my weight, to be honest with you. Um, so it might be different if you're a skinny person.